Well, I managed to turn all but one of the faces using the sphere chuck. It was getting a more and more sketchy towards the last three faces. It was getting a bit sketchy. Uh, so I turned this little center extension with an 18 mil, 19 mil, just under um, little nubby on the end, little little mortise. And the last one, I'm going to try, I'm going to tape it together with masking tape as best as I can uh, and try turning this last uh, flat off like that between the j the jam chuck and this little center should be okay i hope now i've got no the only guideline i've got is the little curves so they should be right now this is too small for the star i've noticed so i've got a couple of options um i can no one of the this little bits has broke off already so i could cut little gates in so it would be more like a cage than a than a and it would go in there you know what i mean it would it's a pity that the one that i did following joe pie's instructions is actually just about the right size i can see that looking down on it that that would have worked but uh can I get that so that you can see? Yeah, I can. Looking down, I can see that the spikes would have fallen nicely into the holes. I've got the choice of making one. So you lose so much material. I didn't realise just how much material that you actually take away. It's quite. It looks a load smaller than the sphere, and load smaller than the star. Although from that apex to the opposite apex, it should be the same, but. Is this? Yeah, it is, but I've got the beads on the end to allow for as well, an extra 12 mil, 10 mil or something. That would have been an ideal size. Yeah, I'm going to put the little gates in and make it into a cage and see how it looks. It was great experience turning it anyway. I mean, it was improvising, improvise and improvise to get that done. So... Let's get this last face done and see how it looks with the cage on. If not, I'll have to turn the bigger one. That size. Can't use this one because it's not split in the middle. It's only got that hole in the top, so there's still no way of getting the sphere inside. Okay, so back when I've finished. Might as well film it. If it blows up, it blows up. the line now I had some dividers set to that length oh it have changed this let's just pick up the length off one of the other faces that's the length I'm looking for so I've got a little bit further to go go perfect okay let's unwrap him and see what she looks like oh, oh I've got to go I've got to go in for, I'm tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna chicken out I'm gonna saw it I'll have to hand sand this last one I 
I'm not worried about sawing it into that little stub centre. It was sacrificial anyway. Right, I think we're through. No, we're not. There we are. Okay. Okay. End of the tape. Still might have to do a bit of hollowing to fit the uh, star in, I guess. I'm going to have to rip that. Yep. Well, it's a dodecahedron. It's got a lidish. It only goes on one way. Uh, there, no. Oh, oh, there, no. No. Uh, no. There. So I'll chop it up now and see what how we go. At least I got as far as getting a dodecahedron. Thanks. <laughs>